Hey guys, today's on Schizophrenia and Empathy Part 2. Schizophrenia and Empathy Part 2, but before we get to Part 2, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And wouldn't you agree? It is quite luxurious. It sounds like this. Hold on a sec. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Where me and the bird. That's Mike the Crow. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. He likes to fly. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Mike likes to fly. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. Indeed, indeed. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. Indeed, indeed. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. No gray fleck today. Clean shaven. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. To topic. To topic. A couple days ago, I did a video on empathy and saying that, you know, because we go through our own troubles, we sometimes have a highly developed sense of empathy for others' troubles. In the original video, I did say that it wasn't a good idea to be overly, overly empathic. And indeed, I, I got a couple messages from viewers saying that they have too much empathy and it, it has not been a strength, it's been a detriment. And that can happen if you have too, too much empathy regarding uh, certain topics and other people's troubles. If you have too, too much empathy, what it entails is you get what they call enmeshed, enmeshed, where you get enmeshed, tangled up with other people. You lose your own kind of boundary, uh, and you get tangled up in the troubles and worries and um, issues of other people. They call it enmeshment. You're too close to people that you shouldn't be that close to. And that's being overly empathic, which is not a good thing. So like all things, empathy needs to be in proper balance. It's still a strength, but you don't want to be enmeshed. And I just wanted to clarify on that. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on the Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.